So uh, I had to do a little bit of a rearrange on the shelves here, you know, just because we're getting more friends, you know. I want to get everybody all together, everybody all happy. What's that? Oh, awesome. All right. Yeah, no, Thanos just uh, let me know that his special move is the old gauntlet fisting. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Nerdgasm. As always, I am your host, Charles Fernandez. Wink! The Last of Us is one of the biggest games to come out in the last decade. It's easily one of my favorite games of all time. I've already spent a whole issue talking about this game. On this issue of the Nerdgasm, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite video games of all time, The Last of Us. What is that, issue six? Oh, I'm just a baby! Anyways, I'm not here to talk about that game. Well, I am going to talk about the game, but there is other news to discuss. Exactly what he just said. Earlier this year, it was announced that there is going to be a live action adaptation of The Last of Us in the form of a TV show. Now, this is extremely exciting, not just for fans of the game franchise, but really for everybody, because everybody loves a good TV show. Excuse me, miss. I'm on TV. <laughs> I said... I'm on TV. I don't know what's going on here, but this is the part where you start sucking my... On this issue of the Nerdgasm, I am going to be discussing all the official announcements regarding The Last of Us TV show, as well as all my hopes and worries about it. So strap in, and let's fucking party. Oh, God damn it! I just used your fisting technique. For a long time. No, we are survivors. This is our chance. It is over, Tess! What do we do? You make every shot count. Before I get started, I'm letting you know I'm going to be diving into everything The Last of Us. So... Spoiler warning! I just want to make sure that we're all caught up on the story. That's right, you probably figured it out. We're going to be doing a rundown. So, uh, ho -ho! rundown. Who's this? You play as Joel, a hardworking single parent that loses his only child, Sarah, during the zombie outbreak. Oh, super sad, I know. Now, we cut to 20 years later. Joel has been surviving as a smuggler in this post-apocalyptic world. He is tasked with smuggling a 14-year-old girl named Ellie to a lab across the country run by an extremist group called the Fireflies. It is soon revealed that Ellie has been bitten and is immune to the virus and is the only hope for a cure to save mankind. So the stakes are clearly high, and let me tell you, this is one of the most intense and emotional stories of survival ever. Now that you have an idea of the story, you can see why a live action TV show is such a big deal. Not a lot of information has officially been announced. I think given the current state of the world, that probably has put a little bit of a tamper on things. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that? Inject. But what they have released is still very exciting. First up, the show will be made through HBO. This is beyond awesome because we already know they have lots of money, talent, and they know how to put out a good show. Also, the show can be true to the very violent and mature tone of the source material and not be limited because of rating and audience. Because, spoiler, The Last of Us has some Game of Thrones style violence, and you know we want it. Next up, the showrunners and creators will be handled by Craig Mazin, who made last year's incredible miniseries Chernobyl, probably one of the greatest miniseries ever made. Seriously, if you haven't seen it yet, as soon as this is over, watch Chernobyl. Do it! Do it now! Come on! Do it! Do it! So having Craig Mazin will definitely be amazing. You see what I did there? Yeah. 
but the true icing on the cake. Hi, my name is Neil Druckmann, and I was the writer and creative director of The Last of Us. Neil Druckmann will also be a showrunner and co-creator. No one knows these characters and stories better than him. This is great news for The Last of Us fan base and for new fans coming into the franchise. This is also a huge relief for any of The Last of Us fans because previously, Drunkman has been working on a Last of Us movie script since 2014 for Sony Pictures, and it's been a nightmare. He kept expressing that he was having difficulty telling the story in a two-hour film, and it was delaying the script, and it was just stressing everybody out. And we all know how hit or miss Sony is with their movies. So that brings me to my favorite part of the show. I want to take this time to pitch you guys some of my ideas, some of the stories, some of the plots that I think they could explore on this new TV show. So uh, let's get to it. Did we lose them? Yeah. But we're not in the clear though, right? Plot idea number one. This can go the obvious route of making the show a direct adaptation of The Last of Us video game. There is already so much story and characters. The game basically plays out like an interactive movie. Joel and Ellie are very established characters and there is a huge legacy to live up to. Why I kinda hope they don't go this route just because there will be even more pressure to live up to a huge standard and being an adaptation, it could definitely end up being the next trash Walking Dead TV show. <laughs> Carl! If they go this route, I hope they take their time and they give us even more development on the story and characters in ways a video game can't. For instance, the opening 10 minutes of the game, a lot happens that sets up the story. That can easily be developed in a pilot episode that's 30 to 60 minutes long, ending with Sarah's death. Episode 2 starts with the title card 20 years later, and it goes right into Joel's smuggler life. Another thing the game did was a different approach to storytelling. The Last of Us tells the story in acts, but divides it up by seasons of the year. The game will show the title card of Winter to introduce Act 2, so we know the story has progressed over time, quite literally. The TV show could take advantage of this and make all of Season 1 what happens in Fall, and then Season 2 can be all of Winter, and so on. The first game could easily be the first three seasons of the show. Part of me really hopes they do something different from the games, but of course, I am going to watch whatever they release. In case they do go this route for the show, I want to submit to you guys my casting choices. Ideally, I would want them to go for someone unknown for both roles, but because this is Hollywood, that will never happen. For Joel, I could see Carl Urban or Joel Edgerton. Both very good actors and both oh, sexy as fuck. And for Ellie, I see Caitlin Dever or Anya Taylor-Joy. Both very good actresses and sexy as fuck. Not that they need to be sexy, it's just, you know, they happen to be. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to plot idea number two. As I've mentioned many times already, the game starts off with a 20 year time jump. I want to follow Joel during those 20 years. I want to see how this pandemic has changed him and what he has had to do to survive. I mean, after losing his daughter, what's really motivating him to keep going? What is he really going through and who is he surviving with? This is a story that we have not explored yet and ties beautifully into the first game. So it'll attract the existing fan base as well as new fans. Plus, who wouldn't want to see Joel's story of survival? especially over 20 years, and only through some very subtle dialogue, we know Joel has been on both sides of the pandemic. So there is lots of story to work with, and they can really develop the world of The Last of Us. Plot idea number three. I'm slowly starting to realize that all these other plot ideas fall during the 20 years later umbrella. But anyways, the show could focus on the Fireflies. 
A big part of the game focuses on the fireflies and working with them, but we really don't know a lot about them. We know they are a group of rebels that are still fighting for a cure to save the world and bring some sort of order back. Through dialogue and a few encounters, we see that the Fireflies are seen as enemies and heroes. It could follow Ellie's mom and her experience with the pandemic and how she met Marlene and the Fireflies. Another example of something new and exciting for existing and new fans. And for plot idea number four, something completely original. The Black Mirror approach, if you will, or an anthology set in the Last of Us universe. Every episode can focus on different characters and themes. This can give endless stories from different perspectives surrounding the infection. In the game, you come across a lot of diaries and audio messages from other people in the world, and each episode could focus on one of those diary entries. This can give endless stories from different perspectives surrounding the infection. It'll also give more creative freedom and options with having a different cast and writers for each episode. I just, I really hope that HBO and this production survives the current COVID situation. Once this all blows over, we have a really exciting show to look forward to. And hopefully the story of The Last of Us doesn't actually become real and this is just the beginning. Jim! Jim, he's infected! I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's really fucked up out there still. I don't know. I'm just kidding. What? What? I don't know. What? Get higher, baby. Ah, uh, get higher, baby. Ah, uh, get higher, girl. Ah! Dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. Regardless of the show happening or not, The Last of Us Part Two is weeks away. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's coming out this time, right? What? Last of Us 2? It's coming out this year? Fuck yeah! Yes! Fuck yeah! yeah! I mean, you know, it's a big game. It's gonna get delayed. It's not huge. It's not crazy. It's still coming out this year. Just a little delay. And hey, whenever a game's delayed, it's good. It means they're just making it better. So this is fine. It's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Postponed indefinitely? What the fuck does that even mean? What is indefinitely? What month is that? Is it still coming out? Why are they delaying it? Why? What did you do? <laughs> you know what? I don't even I don't I don't even know at this point. I don't care. I don't care. Please don't be lying. Please don't be fucking lying. Is it coming out? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's real this time. I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess we'll know in a couple of weeks when I have your first look and exclusive review for The Last of Us Part 2. Also, as soon as they release any new information regarding The Last of Us TV show, you'll be hearing it here first. Well, that's all the time we have on this issue of the Nerdgasm. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to go to youtube.com slash cfbomb and make sure to subscribe on your way out. You can hit subscribe here or here or here or here or fucking anywhere. And then I don't have to press the kill switch and then you can live another day. What? I don't know. We're just having fun. We're just laughing. Press fucking subscribe now. Do it! Just do it! Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll see you next time on the Nerdgasm. Oh yeah! No, dude, you cannot fist me, man. Because I, I don't consent. I don't consent to it. Jesus. Thanos is so- Oh my god, it's in my ass! <laughs>